Just the guy to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's not talk about my ghetto backdrop. Um, you know, it's a it's a mood. It's a whole mood. But today I'm going to be reviewing the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. That's right. It's a palette and it comes with 12 shades. And they're all ranges of um, like reds and like berry tones. Um, comes with a nice size mirror. And it also comes with a brush. And it's a dual ended brush. It has like a packing and like a blending side. Let's go into the brush. The bristles are kind of like not as dense as I like my blending brushes to be. I like a nice firm blending brush. Um, much like this one, so you can have the best of both worlds. So you can pack on the color, but still be able to blend. Whereas with this one, it's just good for like blending out the ends of eyeshadow. So it's more suited for someone who wants like an everyday eyeshadow look. But if you came here, you're not looking for everyday honey. So that's the brush. Um, pretty cool, you can do like some tricks. Hey! Are y'all ready for the tea about these shades? If you are a black person, there are eight shades. You can only use 66% of the shades in this palette. And there are only 12. Hotspot, Caution, Feels, and Juicy are gonna do pretty much nothing for you as a black person. And one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five, of the shades that you can use are shimmers. And that means you have Privacy, Devilish, and Bing, which are colors that are matte that you can use in your crease and such. So you're getting three matte shades, five shimmer shades, and then four shades that you really don't wanna mess with. So I think that's something you really need to take to account if you're a black person and you want to purchase this palette. If you're a white person, you can use this. This gonna be an everyday palette for you. But I do find if you have blue eyes, this might not be the palette for you. Here's why. Like I said, a lot of reds, a lot of like warmish colors. And, but I find that with a person with blue eyes, you're gonna have, if you're gonna have blue eyes, you have a fucking choice. If you have blue eyes, um, I find that oranges and more of like that warm spectrum look looks better on the eyelids and really complements and make your eyes makes your eyes pop. With colors like these, it's really just gonna like dull out your eyes. So that's something to think about if you're going to purchase this palette because it's not like reds, it's like cherries and berries. Why was that the not the name of the palette? Cherries and berries? I'm so into that. Cherries and berries? Huh. So that's all I really have to say about the palette. Um, it's Urban Decay, it's expensive. I'm gonna look up the price right quick. This was sent to me. Um, I did not purchase this. This was sent to me. So, you know, perks of being a YouTuber. This is a $49 palette. This is $50. Girl. All right, so I'm gonna zoom you guys in and then we're gonna start on the eye look today. Hey, so watching this back, I realized that my eyes are out of frame, but guess fucking what? We're gonna make it through this together and you're gonna like the video and you're gonna subscribe and it's gonna be great and we're all gonna have fun. Enjoy. So we're gonna start off by priming the eyes. I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Porcelain. I have had my eyebrows threaded and that was a really cool experience. Um, it has just made like eyebrows like so much easier. And I'm gonna do the eye look first. I'm gonna do my eyebrows because there's not really much to do with my eyebrows anymore. I used to have to like carve them out, but now I can get away with, you know, just boom, filling them in. So I'm gonna go through 
I want to blend out a little bit. So I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild concealer brush and like pat and blend out. So now that I look like a reverse smoky eye, we can hop into it. So I'm going to go in with a like packing blending brush. I'm going to go in with the darkest shade Privacy. I'm going to scroll my brush around and really pat it in because we want that color. I'm going to follow just above my crease and really pack that color in. And it's a nice deep like crimson red color. Now I'm going to go in with Devilish. Also, I look really crazy. And Devilish is kind of pinker. In the pan, Devilish looks really red. But once you put it on, you realize it's kind of pink. And you can see those colors blend just together really nicely. So now I'm gonna take um, a fluffy brush and kind of blend these colors together. Now to me, this looks blended out. So now we can go in and clean up our crease and pop into some of these fantastic shimmer shades. I may talk a lot about a palette and I may see like a lot of ish, um, but I feel like it's my responsibility to kind of hold makeup to like a higher, you know, on a higher pedestal because people are spending hard earned money on makeup and you know, makeup is not cheap. I don't want people to feel like they have to go out and spend $50 on an eyeshadow palette and then find out that they're only able to use 66% of the colors realistically. Like, come on now. Like, that's just highway robbery. go back in and put this darkest color out on the outside to blend this together. Like this is so pretty guys. I'm really feeling this look. All right, now I'm gonna go into a big packing brush and I'm going to take, I think I'm gonna go into Drunk Dial. I think that's gonna be better. So I'm really getting a lot of it on there and packing that on. Yes. I mean, I mean, see, I wish they had this type of a red, but not shimmer. So the pink shimmers they have are Young Love and Bang Bang. I'm going to swatch them and see which one goes better into Drunk Dial. Um kind of not really feeling either. And the monitor, um, it's really pretty. I'm really liking this. I'm really liking this. This really isn't showing up as pink as I thought it would. I'm gonna go into Bang Bang a little bit. I'm gonna mix the two, see what happens. And turn on. Let's see if the shade turns me on. Are you guys turned on? My dick's pretty limp right now. Are we, are we into it? It's just a lot of red. It's a lot of monochromatic. It's a lot of the same, same. And that's not something I'm usually into. I like differentiation into color. And now I'm gonna do my brows off camera and I'll be right back for my final review. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the finished look. I put on a bit of concealer, nothing like serious. But um, looking at it in the mirror, it's definitely a pretty look. Um, very berry. Uh, and I'm getting a lot of pink. Not as cherry and as red as I wanted it to be, like purple, but I am getting a lot of pink. So um, all in all, it is a very decent palette. I think that the theme is very creative. I think as far as a set goes, it does come with um, 
like a cherry spritz and things of that nature. So I think as a collective, it's very inventive. If you really like cherry and you're really into like reds and berries and like blush tones, I think this is definitely a pickup. But if you're not into that and you want more color in your life or you want more everyday like browns um, and you want like more dimension to your looks, I think that you definitely could find something better. So that's our video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is really fun and I have a little surprise for you guys. I got the Sultry palette, so I'm gonna be doing a review on that. I also got the Too Faced Natural Love palette and I also got the BH Cosmetics um, Supernova palette. And I'm also thinking about doing um, a full face of like Dollar Tree makeup. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I think this is a really great video. I've never done like a video like this before. And um, the fact that I was able to make this look out of one palette, like lower lash line included, um, I think it's really cool. Cause I think it looks good. I could definitely see myself going out and wearing this. So that's all I gotta say for today. That was the gayest thing I've ever done in my life. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye. I don't think it's personal, baby. Like love with my lady. I'm so pretty. Like, ugh, my brain, my mind is so powerful. Okay, I'm really gone this time.